Hi all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mohini Yadav and this time I have prepared the video series on differentiation. So this is the part one video where we will be discussing about the meaning of differentiation, the methods of finding the derivatives and what all are the rules of differentiation along with various examples. So let's begin. So first thing is what is differentiation? So differentiation is the uh, differentiation deals with the problem of finding the instantaneous or the local rate of change of a function or I would say it is used for computing the rate of change of one quantity in response to change in other or also I can say that it is a method of finding the change in independent uh, change in dependent variable that is y with respect to change in independent variable that is x so this is the fundamental use of differentiation if i would say about geometrically so this derivative is the slope of curve at a point of curve so whenever we find the slope it is says that we are finding the derivation of that particular function the key concept of differential uh, differential calculation deals with finding the derivative and this entire process is called the differentiation. If I want to write this it as numerically, it is denoted as this dy by dx. So this is the derivative of y with respect to x or I, I can also denote this as f dash x. So this is also the differentiation of x. So in the entire video, I will be using the derivative and differentiation words interchangeably. Next is what all are the methods of finding the derivatives. So there are two ways of finding the derivatives by definition and by using the rules of differentiation. So by definition it says that suppose there is a function y equals to fx. It's said to be differentiable at x is equals to c only if the limit which is h tends to 0 function c plus h minus fc divided by h exist and the limit is called the derivative of the function at c is x is equals to c. So this is just a formula which you have to write uh, which you have to learn sorry. If I say about this numerically so suppose there is an interval a and b and c is a point between the interval so this interval is about the function x so function x is between these intervals and c is a point inside the interval so suppose there is a addition of h in the c function so addition so it means it will shift the c to the right hand side of the interval so now this is the new c that is c plus h now i want to find the change so in order to calculate the change of the function between the intervals a and b when x is equals to c this will be c plus h that is function c plus h minus function c divided by h so i have just replaced the value c instead of x and i have calculated the change because if you see it in this diagram, this is the change, right? That is C plus H minus C. So this is the change. So this is I have put in the uh, formula also. That is FC plus H minus FC divide by H. So this divide is in order to calculate the ratio. So I am saying that in order to find the derivative of a function X at a point that is a fixed point c the formula is to be used at as this where the h the h limits tends to zero okay so whatever the value will find after this formula this value is called the derivative of this function at x is equals to c c is your constant point so this is very simple just let's understand this with the help of an example Suppose your function is this fx is equals to x cube 
and it is differentiable at x equals to 3. Now we have to obtain its derivative when, it, when x is equals to 3. So this 3 is the constant point that is c. Okay. So first step is to calculate the function of c. So this function when it is 3, it is 3 raised to power cube that is 27. The next step is to find the f c plus h. So f 3 plus h is 3 plus h whole cube and the formula for a plus b whole cube is a cube plus 3a square plus 3ab square plus b cube. So in this case it is 3 cube plus 3 into 3 square h plus 3 into 3 h square plus h cube. So this is our answer. After that we have to divide. So the third step is we have to divide this with h. So 27 and 27 will get cancelled and the 1h will be eliminated from the numerator. So this is now 27h. 9 h because this was h square and h cube will become h square. So now this is your value. Now we know that our limit says that h tends to 0. Now we have put h as 0 so the value is 27. So we would say that function x is differentiable at x equals to 3 and its derivative at x is equals to 3 is 27. This should not come out as 0. If the value is coming out to be 0, then it means that there is no def, uh, derivative, means there is no change in y with respect to change in x. So this should never come as 0. So if it is coming as any positive value or negative value, we say that our function is differentiable at a particular constant point. In this example, it is c. Simple. Now let's move to the next example. Suppose now instead of saying at a fixed point, our question says that you have to find the derivative of function x q. So this is our formula f x plus h minus f x divided by h. In the earlier formula it was c because that was the constant point which was given. In case it is not given, we will simply use this. So this is fx plus h minus fx divided by h where limit h tends to 0. Now just simply this will become x plus h whole cube minus the function of x is x cube. Now you have to expand this. So similarly we have to again use the formula for a plus b whole cube. So this is x cube plus 3x square h plus 3x h square plus h cube minus x cube by h. So again x cube and x cube will get cancelled. This is positive. This is negative. And 1h will be eliminated from the denominator. So this will be now 2 minus 1, 1. And this will be now 2. So this is our answer. That is 3x square plus 3xh plus h square. Since we know that our limit h tends to 0. So this becomes 3x square. So by using this formula. By, by using this formula you can calculate the differentiation of any function or the derivative of any function. So in this case, it is 3x square. You can also practice more questions. The formula will remain the same. And in case of any doubts, please write to me in the comment section of my YouTube channel. So next important point which we have just observed from the past two questions that this process of involving lot of calculation that you have every time you have to calculate the change then you have to subtract it then you have to divide this with h it is a little bit longer and a tedious process okay because every time you have every time you have to repeat the process in order to eliminate this process there are certain rules or formulas that we can use to evaluate the derivatives very quickly without going through this all limit process so now we will understand what all are the rules of differentiation which are available to us. So first rule is the derivative of a constant function. So the derivative of a function y equals to k where k is the constant with respect to variable x it says that it is 0. 
and this is very simple also because you have to understand y is a function of x but when y is represented as a constant it means it is zero why because this constant is not going to affect y y is a function of x so when wherever there will be a change in x there should be a change in y but since this constant is a stand alone any change in this is not going to impact the y so please remember the derivative of a constant function is always zero so for example y is equals to 5 you have to find the first derivative of y with respect to x it should be 0 similarly if it is 6 it is 7 it is 8 it could be anything till infinite so whenever there is a constant in the function the derivative of that constant is always 0 next is derivative of a variable with respect to itself so y if y is a function of x so the derivative of that is expressed as 1 so for example when y is given as x the derivative is 1 so you always have to remember that when y is given as x so it means whenever there is a change for example of 1 then y will also get changed by 1 so this is the change okay so the change is always 1 when the y is uh, given as a function of just x the next rule is derivative of a power rule so whenever your function is given in this format y is equals to k raised to power n where k is your constant and x raised to power n and your function is y is in respect to variable x then the formula is k will come outside of the function and this x raised to power n will become n will come before the function then x raised to power n minus 1. So this is expressed constant multiplied with n times with the power with the x raised to power n minus 1. So for example you have been given this function y is equals to 4x so this will be 4 will come before then x ki power is 1 so 1 will also come before so this is 4 into 1 into x raised to power 1 minus 1 so this is 4 into x ki power 0 so x power 0 is 1 so the answer is 4 similarly if this is this equation is given so in this case also 2 will come before the function then the power will multiplied with the constant then this is 2 into 5 by 4 into x raised to power power minus 1 so 5 by 4 minus 1 so after you multiply this this will become that function so i hope this is clear to you i'll be discussing the rest of the rules in the next video till then in case of any doubts please reach out to me anytime and please subscribe to this channel and share this with your friends and like the videos. Thank you so much for all your support so far. Bye-bye.